なんだお前、うん、それ誰も頼まないことで有名な激辛麻婆豆腐じゃんこれ掴んじまったんだから仕方ないだろう<笑>、うん、一口で激辛あでもうまいぞひなた食ってみろよじゃあ一口だけおうわしかし後から来るこの風味なるほどこいつは味わい深いかもしれない What's going on guys? Welcome back to Anime Kitchen, the show where we bring the food of anime and other media to life. Today, we're making the super spicy mapo tofu from Angel Beats. If you've seen this anime before, you already know you're going to cry, so you might as well do it while eating some great food. With all that being said, new aprons on, let's go. Now, before we get into today's episode, some of you may be asking, Andy, you handsome and stylish man, where's the usual outfit? To which I firstly say, thank you, you're too kind. And secondly, as much as I love that red apron, I bought it for like five bucks on eBay, and the oil stains won't come out of the cheap material, no matter how much or how hard I try to clean it. So I've decided to swap to a more durable apron, but try to keep with the red theme with one of my shirts. With that out of the way, let's shift the focus from my clothes to the kitchen, because one of the great things about Mapo Tofu is that there isn't a whole lot to prepare, and you could get this onto the table, start to finish, and about 30 minutes. To begin today, we're going to prepare our tofu. You'll want a total of 750 grams of soft or firm tofu, or a combination of the two if you want. Start by cutting your block of tofu in half, and then, if it's too thick, divide it in half widthways before cutting it into 1cm strips and each of those strips into 1cm cubes. When that's all diced up, pop it into a bowl and set aside for later use. Next up, we're going to lightly marinate our mincemeat. Into a mixing bowl, we're going to add 250 grams of pork or beef mince, or a combination of the two if you have it. And then to the meat, we're going to add 10 mils or 2 teaspoons of Shaoxing rice wine, 10 mils or 2 teaspoons of dark soy sauce, and half a teaspoon or 3 mils of sesame oil. Lightly toss that together, breaking up the mince to ensure it's all coated in the marinade, then set to one side. Moving on, in a small measuring jug, I've measured out 250 mils of stock, Feel free to use chicken, beef, or any other type of meat or vegetable stock you have on hand. I've defrosted some leftover pork bone stock that I made for the Ichiraku Ramen episode. Feel free to check that out by clicking the eye in the top right corner. To the stock, we're going to add in 1.5 teaspoons or 13 mils of Shaoxing wine. 20 mils of dark soy sauce, stir everything together to combine, and like everything else so far, we're going to set this to one side until it's needed. Now we can focus on our aromatics. To start off, we're going to take two spring onions and finely slice them. Similarly, we're going to take two cloves of garlic and finely dice those as well. Lastly, we're also going to finely dice some ginger until there's enough to fill two teaspoons, about 10 grams worth. Once everything's all chopped up, we're going to put that into a bowl and set it to one side. Lastly, before we get on to the main event, we're going to heat a wok over medium heat and add in two teaspoons of Sichuan peppercorns. Keep these guys moving and allow them to dry toast until they're browned and aromatic. Once they're sufficiently toasted, we're going to remove them from the wok and place them into a pestle and mortar. Let them cool off for a couple of minutes before crushing to your desired coarseness. Personally, I like to keep it fairly coarse like this. Leave it to one side until you're ready to plate. Alright, so with all our prep out of the way, let's get on to making our mapo tofu. To start, we're going to crank the heat up to high with our wok and add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. When the oil is ripping hot and almost smoking, we're going to add in our marinated mints. Cook this until the meat is well browned, ensuring to mash and separate any large pieces of mince as you're cooking. Once the meat is cooked through and well browned, we're going to remove it from the wok using a slotted spoon or sieve, keep the heat on high, and then we're going to allow any of the liquids to evaporate from the wok until only the oil remains. Once all the liquids from the meat have evaporated and you're left with just the oil, we're going to add in our spring onions, ginger and garlic, and stir fry for 10 to 15 seconds or until they're nice and fragrant. After that, we're adding the minced meat back into the wok along with one tablespoon of chili bean sauce or more depending on how spicy you want your mapo tofu. My fiance also has to eat this so I'm not going to go overboard with the spice here, but don't worry, I'll add something later to make sure it's as spicy as the one that Kanade loves to eat. Give everything in the wok a good mixing, ensuring that the chili bean sauce has fully coated the minced meat. Then we're going to pour in the stock mixture that we prepared earlier and give everything a good mixing again. Leave the heat on high and allow this sauce to come up to the boil. Once the sauce has come up to the boil, we can optionally add one teaspoon of sugar if you want to help balance out some of that spiciness in the dish. And then we're going to add in our tofu and fold it through with the sauce, taking special care to do it gently if you're using soft or silken tofu. Once the tofu is all coated, we're going to reduce the heat to medium and cook for 5 minutes so that the tofu can warm through. After 5 minutes have passed and the tofu is warmed through, we're going to add a cornflour slurry to the wok. This was made with 2 teaspoons of cornflour and 2 teaspoons of water. Gently stir this in and then drop the heat to low and allow the sauce to thicken to your desired consistency. As I'm demonstrating here, the sauce will start off quite watery. Just give it a little bit of time and you'll see that the sauce will thicken into something with a bit more body to it like so. When the sauce has reached your desired consistency, turn off the heat and scoop yourself a nice big portion onto a plate. Garnish your mapo tofu with a sprinkling of crushed Sichuan peppercorns and some thinly sliced spring onion greens. And now, you've got yourself a beautiful plate of mapo tofu. Now, before I make this into a fiery plate of death like it's depicted in the anime, let's have a taste, shall we? As you can tell by my reaction, this turned out really well. 
I love Mapo tofu. It's savory and meaty, there's a great contrast of texture between the smooth and silky tofu and the stir-fried mincemeat, the spice of the tobanjang is great, and you also get that numbing spice sensation from the Sichuan peppercorns. But of course, I said I was going to make this hot to be accurate to the anime. Ideally, you just use more tobanjang when you're cooking to adjust the heat level, but since this dish is already finished, you could always make it hotter by adding some chili oil, preferably the homemade chili oil that I showed you guys how to make in training arc. Depending on how hot you made your chili oil though, this may not be enough. So, why don't we punish our taste buds a little bit by adding in some super spicy Korean chicken sauce. If you've had Korean fire noodles before, you know exactly what's about to go down. Don't shrug your shoulders at me dude, you know exactly what you're about to experience. 3, 2, 1, there it is. This stuff genuinely does taste great, but it really loves to punch you in the back of the throat with heat. I think now that we've added this Korean chicken sauce, it definitely matches up to the anime. Now, because mapo tofu is already quite an intense flavor before you pack it with extra chili, this is typically served along with white rice to help soak up and balance all of that intense flavor, which is what I'm doing here. I definitely recommend that you guys try making this at home, as it's a simple and delicious recipe that works great as a quick midweek dinner. As always guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode. Let me know if you enjoyed it by dropping a like down below, and let me know what food from anime and other media you'd like to see me make in the future. Subscribe to the channel for a new episode every week, and until then, roll up your sleeves, slap on an apron, and I'll see you in the anime kitchen. Peace!